Congratulations on the 60th anniversary of the signing of the OECD Convention. Our world faces unprecedented challenges due to COVID-19 crisis. Successfully confronting those challenges requires the very spirit of international cooperation and action that created the OECD 60 years ago. During that time, the OECD has effectively engaged with stakeholders, consistently bringing rigorous evidence and analytical support to better equip decision makers on a range of development issues. As a UN Secretary General Special Advocate for Inclusive Finance for Development, and as Honorary Chair of the Dutch Money Wise platform, it has been a pleasure to work with the OECD on financial education. The creation of the OECD International Network on Financial Education and the inclusion of financial literacy in the Programme for International Student Assessment have rightly put financial education centre stage. These efforts have galvanised global action and commitment to sound policies as reflected in the increasing number of national financial education strategies in OECD countries and non-OECD countries. There is also clearer evidence of effective practices. For example, the importance of early intervention or embedding financial literacy in product design. The work on financial education will need to continuously evolve to changing demands and future requirements. First, to recognize the needed interplay between financial literacy and digital competencies in light of increased digitization of financial services. These are some of the key digital public goods that should be in place for the system to be inclusive and truly beneficial, especially for low income segments and other vulnerable groups. Second, to view financial education in the context of financial health, as well as define what that entails. This is even more relevant as financial well-being is crucial to build and maintain resilience amidst economic shocks from the ongoing pandemic. Aside of financial education and the promotion of financial health, we must continue to elaborate our knowledge on the advancement of entrepreneurship and the right support to small and medium-sized enterprises, the drivers of employment and innovation. Entrepreneurship education, the development of tools to help entrepreneurs, and innovation in financing are all very important to promote growth and productivity. These are all essential tasks we have to undertake if we want to enjoy growth that is shared by all. Once again, Congratulations to the OECD on this important milestone. I look forward to our continued collaboration and to help ensure the world uses the COVID-19 crisis as an opportunity to build stronger, more inclusive and more equitable societies.